Welcome to AppChasers.com. Today we're taking a look at how to create a ringtone for your iPhone directly on your iPhone. Now the way we do that is by using GarageBand for iOS. That's available in the iTunes App Store and we've got a link below this video. Now why would you want to do this? There's a number of ringtone apps in the App Store but they require you to create a ringtone from your music library but then you have to export it by emailing it to yourself so that you can put it into iTunes then sync iTunes with your iPhone in order to get the ringtone on your device. But using GarageBand right on the iPhone you can take a song that resides on your iPhone already in the music app and make a ringtone out of it. So we're going to show you how to do that right now. Once you open the GarageBand app, which is free on the iTunes App Store, you'll want to click on the plus sign in the upper left hand corner. So let's do that and it's going to bring up our instruments. Now, once you launch GarageBand for the first time you might start off on this page. So you can select any instrument you want. Let's just select the default drums here. Now once you're on this screen, the first thing you'll want to do is increase the length of the song. In the upper right, actually along the whole upper side of the screen, you'll see the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now that's the number of bars or the length of this song. We'll want to increase that a little bit just so we have enough room to uh, work with our song that we're going to import. So if we click on the plus icon, you'll see that right next to the 8. Click on that plus icon and we see that right now we've got eight bars. Let's set that up to, um, let's go right up to 30 bars. That will give us enough room to work with the song. Okay, so now we'll go back to the screen that we were, we were on before. You'll see in the upper left hand corner there's our track view. Looks like a number of uh, little lines in the upper left. That might not appear. In order to get that to appear, on your device you may have to add another instrument so let's do that let's go back to instruments and uh, let's pick a piano and uh, okay there we go so now we do have that track listing icon again just in case you didn't have it so let's click on that now once we click on that icon we're gonna get the other icon that we need to import our song and that's in the upper right it's the Apple loop icon it looks like a little uh, maybe a little roller coaster loop-de-loop -loop there in the upper right so let's click on that now this is gonna open up a new window here and we'll see at the up in the upper side of the window we've got Apple loops audio files and music music is the tab that we're looking for so let's click on music and then you'll see a very familiar uh, listing here our playlists artists albums where we can now go in and find the song that we want to use so let's click on playlists here and we've got a number of different playlists let's look at uh, best uh, this month this is just one that I created now you'll notice here that some of the songs are grayed out and one of the songs here at, at the top uh, is available now what does that mean these songs that are grayed out are in iTunes Match. They're in the cloud. They're able to be listened to in the music app, but I can't use them uh, to create a ringtone because they're not actually downloaded to my device. So let's switch over to the music app just in case you're using iTunes Match and show you how to download a song to your device. Then we'll come back here and resume. Now you can fast forward through that part if you already have your music stored on your device. But right now let's switch over to the music app. Okay, so now we're over in the music app uh, and we've got our playlist tab open at the bottom. So we'll select the playlist that we were in before in GarageBand. Now you'll see that there's a few uh, icons here on the right for some of the songs. And those are indicating that right now that song is in iTunes Match in the cloud and we can download it. So let's go ahead and get download one of these songs. We just click on that cloud icon and it's going to start downloading the song to our device. Once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and import it when, once we're back in the GarageBand app. So let's switch back to GarageBand after this is done downloading. Now that we're back in GarageBand, 
we see the song that we downloaded in the music app is now ready to use here and will indicate it's indicated by being a little bit darker font so we can tap on that it'll start to play the song but the way we want to import it into GarageBand is by tapping and holding on the song and then dragging into a new track here so we'll see it's importing the audio now You'll also notice that our last track or instrument that we had added, the piano, is still there above this track. That's not going to harm anything, so you can just leave it there. Okay, now we're importing our song. And if we click on it, we can go ahead and drag the two ends of the song right to the part of the song that we want to use. Now, if it's a little bit later in the song than we have shown here, what we can do is just drag, then pull the entire song over, drag the end, and continue to do that until we find the 30 or so seconds that we want to use. So let's say that we found the section that we want to use here. We'll move it right to the beginning. We can play the track. Okay, so that's the section we want to use. You can continue to uh, tweak that by just going back and forth and finding the exact section that you want. You can also use two fingers to zoom in on the track so that you can be a little bit more precise when finding a start and an end point. So there we go. So we've got the song, we've got the, the track that we want, and we've got the exact section that we want. So now let's go back to our down arrow here on the upper left and we're gonna go to my songs that's going to save the song that we were working with. Okay, so there it is. Now in the upper right hand corner, you'll see the select button. We'll click that. We want to select the song that we just created and click on the share icon in the upper left, which is the arrow icon. And as you can see, a very familiar screen. Uh, but here we have ringtone option. So let's click on that. We'll have the option to name our ringtone. We can uh, click here and just say, okay, there's our name of our ringtone. We'll sit, we'll hit done. Whoop, it auto corrected that. Let's try that again. Okay, and now we can click on export in the upper right. So it's going to export as a ringtone to use on our iPhone. All right, so here we go, ringtone, ex ringtone export successful. And right here, we can go right into the settings app by clicking use sound as and selecting what we wanna use that ringtone for. A ringtone, a standard text tone, or assign it to a contact. Let's say a standard ringtone here. And now let's go into our settings app. We'll click done. We'll go into our settings app and show you how we can select that ringtone. Now here we are in the settings app on the iPhone and we can just check to make sure that ringtone came through. Scroll down to the sounds uh, section of settings. We'll click on that and we'll see that our sounds, our ringtones are all here. Now we've got the default uh, tones that are already in our device when we bought it. But we also have ringtone and we've got the ones that we created right in GarageBand. So this is the one we just created. That gives us a little preview of the sound. So that's how you create a ringtone right on your iPhone using GarageBand. No other apps needed and no connecting to a computer is needed either. This is AppChasers.com.